It's not a good angle for this. Uh, here's the topic in brief. We're going to talk about <coughs> what led to Nankadas. Sorry, I'm typing a little bit slow. Um, we'll talk about the disk format. That's good. Um, no, you're fine, you're fine. You're fine. In memory and on disk. Um, compare it with Prodos and DOS 3.3. Um, talk a little bit about how I developed it.
small, so Nikon DOS with the catalog occupies sectors 0 through 11 on track 0. And that's it. Including the catalog? Pardon? Including the catalog? Including the catalog. Um, speaking of the catalog, there are no file names. There are only file numbers. Um, since Naked DOS's major user interface is Supermarket, which allows you to associate a label with a number, um, you just fill out your labels in Supermon, you label the files, and then when you're ready to release your game, you just leave out the symbol table. Essentially, all of memory is free, except for that little stuff down here. Um, and if you even got play space for 250 skip byte routine or buffer from 240 to 340, um, and it's still got 64 bytes left for the
last 3.3 takes 20.7 seconds. In, in my tests last night. Um, Rojas takes 17.2 seconds, and I don't really have a good explanation for why Rojas is faster. It still, it still uses essentially two seconds of time to read one sector. So why is that? He's just checking in. And now you promised it, so. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I just unpromised it. Um, 
DOS comes with some utilities, copy files, copy disks, search protos. No utilities with main DOS. That said, you can copy disks using protos. briefly about how I achieved some of the speed um, benefits because those were the most fun parts of putting Naked DOS. So Naked DOS turns the drive on, figures out what it needs to do, and then waits for a sector to come under the head of the, of the drive. And whatever sector that is, that's the sector that's operated on right now. Um, let's finish with that. Whatever the one that goes around next is the one that it works on. Um, so that eliminates some latency track to track. Um, <coughs> Protoss and DOS 3.3, I think both of them use Wozniak's code, which by the way, the code in DOS 3.3 from V800 up is Wozniak, and it's totally beautiful, and you know, his typical genius work. And the code from there down to 9600, <coughs> all the file management stuff is written by somebody else. Just try disassembling that code. If you know anything about assembly, it's awful. It's, like, it's wasteful, it's bloated, it's incredibly slow. Um, but one thing Wozniak did is he creates a sector and then he decodes a sector. And while he's decoding that sector, another sector is passed by under the head. So, at most, he can read, at his high speed, he can read every other sector. And it takes two revolutions to read every um, Naked DOS reads and decodes at the same time. So when it's done with this sector, it's ready to read the next sector. Um, so that's how read speed got faster. Um, I do about half of the right
the preamble as is while it's writing, but it's totally incompatible with that was coding. Um, I was thinking you could have, you know, a code compressor, um, 
I think it needs nine and a half seconds. Oh, Tony's here? That's Tony. Tony's even got I wanted to set up the mic so that you could hear the disk drive. I have a, there's a program you can get on the web. It's called Linein from Broga Amoeba. It allows you to route the input to the speakers. At the end, tell you what, at the end of the Superman presentation tomorrow, I will do that just so you can hear what it's saying. Um, so here's what Naked Dust looks like when it boots. I'll scroll that up to the top of the screen so you can see it. Yeah, yeah, okay. Um, you can see the license. Here's the help file. Um, Naked Dust starts on page A. And there's the features. Here's the general form of the API. You call 340, um, which is the entry point. And then you, you do assembly language statements, and Naked Dust interprets them. So I picked ABC because you can also read it as a this command. <laughs> so you do a this command, BC41 to read sectors. And then the parameters are you know LDA number 11 to read from track 11. Um, you can also LDA from an absolute address. So you can put the address somewhere else, and then you don't have to change your, uh, your API call. It will go out and find whatever value is in memory, or you can do zero page. Um, and you can also, there's a couple other handy features <coughs> for now. Um, the API has commands to read and write files, delete files, information, edit the catalog, and there's a command to say I'm done. These commands, you can string more ABCs together if you want. In which case, it will turn off the disk drive and erase itself from memory. Or you can say SEP, um, which means I'm going to go off and do some things. Just leave the drive spinning. Don't leave it. Don't play around naked DOS. And when you come back and do another command, it's just instantly ready. So here is a sample of the API. Um, so we're going to do this command 8 to get some file info. We're going to get information for this file to the five. We're going to uh, leave the disk drive on, uh, store the results in the LP pool, back into Naked DOS, read, file, read a file, file 5, put it at page 40 in memory. Write that same stuff. Oops, that's what this is. Etc. So you can just disassemble the code and then have any weird looking question marks or disassemble the code. Um, it's, it's pretty new as opposed to Perdoss. You said it's for 48k machines. Why is there DCs and DFs for the uh, ADC? Um, this is a convention I use. So this is nice when you're assigning labels in Superman. Uh, okay. You can say um, file info equals DC08. And then you can just use that label everywhere. Um, you know, hello program equals BF05. So these are just conventions. You, you don't have to use 16 bit numbers. In Superman, the D1000 page is reserved for the symbol table, so you can't put any 
if it makes sense to have symbols and assets. Uh, and then a very quick demo of Superman integration. You type R to get a catalog. Um, this shows you the file number, the length, and the Superman label that you assign to that file number. Um, you can read a file in. Dissecting this, things look a little bit weird in Superman. Say so address 2000, direct this label F Superman, which is the file to read. The last letter in a monitor command is always the action to do, R to read. So I just read in the Superman code to location 2000, and there it is. Um, a write is similar. You don't have to assign labels. So here's a dissection of that. The file 20, which I just invented, um, the range from 2,300 to 300. Right. Uh, as you can see, it's pretty fast. Um, <coughs> if you save a program, if you've defined a program in Superman, I'll talk about that tomorrow, then Superman will automatically save the symbol table as well to these files, single table one and single table two. Um, to delete a file, you just write nothing to it. And it. So now file 20 is gone. I think that's it. Cool.